over at Pineview, the Panthers took on the Desert Hills Thunder. The Thunder struck first with Eli Allred firing from three-point range and knocking it down. Scott Fillmore would then drive down the lane and bank it off the glass for two. Griffin Shepard would then make a move and get to the rack for the score. Boston Holbrook would drive to the hoop, stop, and spin with the fadeaway jumper and hit nothing but net. Russian Shaw drove down the baseline and kicked it to Fillmore for an easy two points. Fillmore would secure the ball, take two dribbles, and pull up and knock down the shot. Allred would keep the Thunder alive with a big three-pointer. Nash Schroeder would speed past his defender and finish at the hoop with a finger roll. Lincoln Holmes would get past his defender and finish at the hoop strong for two points. Shepard would put the game out of reach with a floater at the rim. Final score, Pineview 52, Desert Hills 42. Over in Hurricane, the Tigers hosted the Dixie Flyers. Keen Webb would show off his range by knocking down a three. Colton Litchfield would get the ball in transition and take it all the way to the rack for the finish. Carter Grant would shake his defender on the inbound play and get the easy bucket. Kyle Lemke would get the ball down low and finish strong at the hoop. Owen Iloa would get the offensive rebound and go back up for two points. Lemke would then show off his post moves and then slam the ball home. Carter would almost lose the ball, but get the shot off right before the buzzer and get it to fall. Cruz Gardner would take one hard dribble and finish at the hoop with his left hand. The final score, Dixie 67, Hurricane 39. Up in Cedar, the Reds hosted the Crimson Cliffs Mustangs. Nathan Rogers would sneak past the defense and get an easy two points. Jordan Eaton would get the Mustangs on the board with a three. Ty Harrison would then muscle his way to the basket and get the bucket. Houston Johnson would catch and shoot and knock down the three. Brandon Tibbs would flash to the key, get the pass and the easy layup. Travis Matthews would then get a steal and take it all the way down for a layup. Aaron Munson would then respond by muscling his way to the block and banking it in for two points. Hudson Haas would add his finesse with a floater to extend the Mustang lead. The final score, Crimson Cliffs 61, Cedar 56. The Region 10 Recap is brought to you by Finley Volkswagen, Infinity Title, The Rally Stop, Jones Paint and Glass, Nets on Fire, and Intermountain Sports Performance. For St. George News, I'm Aaron Crane.